Hello my crafty friends. I have a little project I want to share with everyone today. This is one reason why you haven't seen so many crafts and um, I mean doing a lot of things, you know, showing certain things. There was something I wanted to do. I had seen a video, um, her name is Bonnie and I can't remember her YouTube name. Usually I know it by heart. But um, somehow or another my brain just went floppy or something. I don't know what happened. But any anyway, Bon, uh, most of you guys know her. Her name is Bonnie, and I think she's SMC. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm not even going to say the wrong uh, YouTube thing. Uh, but y you guys will know who I'm talking about because I think many of us have already subbed to her. And um, Miss Garden Grove had made one, and I don't know if any others, you know, have got tutorials or anything. Uh, these are the only two videos that I had seen um, that gave me the inspiration. But there may be other videos out there of someone that has started this and, and done it. And so they got inspired or, or whatever. But anyway, I saw these two um, videos and I really loved what they were doing. And I've been kind of wanting to make something similar to that. And, uh, you know, the idea had crossed my mind. But somebody uh, beat me to it before I got, got the chance to do it. But anyway... Um, I decided I wanted to make one, but I didn't want to be a copycat and use the little girl images like they had used. So I decided to use Marie Antoinette. And like I said, this particular um, album that I made has a combination of eBay, vintage eBay um, doilies, some of my own personal la uh, lace and stash, uh, my own personal handmade flowers that I've made on, on everything, uh, a few little pieces of curtain lace that um, I had. Uh, just just a variety of Michael's frame. I've decided though after looking at it and doing this video I want to whitewash this a little bit the frame going to do a little whitewash And I want to put a strand of pearls around the center of it So that's going to make that's going to really set it off and maybe just embellish just a teeny tiny bit with maybe some gold or silver trim, you know um, Rub and buff just just little tiny bits of silver or gold Rub and buff on it. So I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going to do when I get done um, with the video. I should have went ahead and finished it. But anyway, this is my first page. And like I said, there's it's got chipboard, so it's, it's really, really dur uh, durable. And if you'll notice, it has a binding on the side. I used lace for binding here. So it has a, a fairly large binding. And this is the front of the album. Let me see. I'm trying to look. Now I'm going to turn the page. I'm trying to keep from... Uh, Hope everyone can see this. Uh, I will probably do a close up. Anyway, Texas girl had sent me a rack, um, and, and she sent me one of her wedding appliques, and I fell in love with it. And I was just like, "Oh boy, what can I do with this second page?" So I thought about it, and I'm like, "Ooh, ding ding, Leslie's wedding applique." <laughs> so I went into my little hoard vault, and um, I ripped it out, and. So had it sitting there, you know, in front of me, and I'm like, oh, gosh, I don't want to cut this up. It's too pretty. And then I says, no, 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 it's going to look great in this album. And I had to fight myself for a while to just, to put that in there because I love that applique. Then I kept saying to myself, well, what good is this applique going to be do doing hidden in the in a drawer somewhere with me not using it for any crafting? So I, I finally got the nerve up, and I, I glued it on. So it has a uh, right up here of... This was one applique right here, here, and here. And this this here is an applique of mine from a wedding dress I found. So I put some of my wedding dress out and some vintage fabric and just did a little little strand here of, of um, ribbon, you know, I mean, of lace to make it kind of look shabby chic. And I just glued down the flower. I cut that off first, and then I cut this in half and that in half and just glued it all together, and that's how it turned out. Now I am going to probably uh, get my camera and do a close-up. Um, page three, I did the same thing. I um, on the each page, like this one here on the second page, I glued like a um, some crochet trimming that were that was on like some linen doilies, and I just cut out the uh, crochet part and made my own lace trim, and it's really really beautiful. And I got three different doilies that I was able to actually uh, cut the trim, and it just drapes down really beautifully on the sides. And I also used a, a wedding applique here and a wedding applique there. And I double laced uh, the frame for Marie Antoinette on here. And, and that was my second and my third page. I am going to do just a little close up a minute just so you can possibly see the, uh, just get, give you an idea how detailed. Isn't that beautiful? The lace, I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then this page here is just 
really, really beautiful. I, I loved how it turned out. And these are my homemade rosette ribbons, uh, roses. And let me put this back down so I can turn the next page. Now, the next page um, is with uh, Marie Antoinette again. Uh, the fade picture looks kind of faded, but it's it's that's how it. Um, see if I can get that out so you can see the trim. Uh, the picture looks kind of faded, but that's how the picture was online. Kind of had that dull-looking, old-fashioned, you know, look. So I went ahead and printed it out because I loved the way the dress went. And plus, it kind of matches already the dresses that I had found of her. And these are, once again, um, like there's la uh, uh, lace here, uh, the lace dolly underneath, lace here, old dolly here, glued on top of that is the picture of Marie Antoinette. And then there's double lace here, so you give it double ruffles. And then, then a tied-up bow and a little tied-up piece of lace there. And my rosette ribbons and some of my rose rib uh, satin uh, ribbons, uh, roses. And then on this page here... Um, I have some more. This was just a really old, weird-looking dolly, and it was, you know, it may look like it was, it's not crocheted, so I don't know what it's really made out of. It's just got this weird, strange pattern, and I just put it in a diamond shape and glued it down on top of the, uh, the, um, lace linen dollies. I mean, in fact, lace dollies that, uh, that look like, they look like placemats, but they were not, and they were, um, really lacy. You'll see them in a couple haul videos a while back. Um, it will say a rack from Karina Alstein, and then uh, the rack from Angie, and then there will be a rack from Eleven uh, Mandy Craft, Eleven Crafty Cats. But anyway, um, I used a lot of their their stuff, and uh, like Rosemary, you know, she had a dolly, so there's the dollies in here, and some of her laces I, I used that she gave me, like this piece over here, and uh, I think this piece here was also part of her lace. And then there was this little piece here, but but anyway, I just kept on, you know, doing. This is just a little shabby chic rose here, a rosette that I I think I got from um, Lavish Laces a while back back ago. I just cut myself into one rose and glued, glued it there. And Tammy, thank you so much for the little um, wood embellishment that you gave me for Christmas. I put trust up here. I thought it was really neat, and I just couldn't resist it. And the um, pink and white. Uh, flower spray that you had on the box, the pink box that you gave me. I had to cut that. I also used some of this lace on this book. I'm, I think it's on the other page. But anyway, um, I just, you know, tied the, cut, cut the ribbon enough to where the, you still had your bow. So this is all of your little spray right here. And I glued it down with the frame, and that's how it turned out, and I was really tickled about that. And then, let me see, let me just do a close-up, so you'll get, um, so that's how it turned out. I was really, really, really tickled with this piece. And then this page here, as you can see. And I just, I don't know, something about them old-looking doilies. They just give it that good old shabby chic feel. So this is how it turned out. And there's the spray. And there's the little trust. Turned out really beautiful on this. And thank you so much, Tammy. Thank you, Rosemary. Uh, thank you, Karina, Angie, um, Leslie, uh... Am I forgetting anybody here? I'm just, <laughs> I, I think I said Rosemary. Yeah, I think I did. But anyway, uh, like I said, uh, most of these roses came from, from the, the ladies, you know, that have sent me racks. And it was very kind and generous of you. Oh, Nettie. Nettie. I got one of her um, flowers on here. So I used one of her flowers, and I think I used one of her um, vintage laces. Now, this is the back of the uh, album. I didn't really want it to have any pictures or anything because it's going to be sitting flat. And not too many people are going to see it. So I just kind of used, um, I used, uh, this is Nettie's lace. So she gave me this lace and I sewed it up, made a little um, flower out of it. And then I crocheted me a little piece, put a little go button. And then this is one of Nettie's flowers that she gave me. And I don't know, I just took it out and I said, you know, that'll go good there. So I glued that on. And then there's this little lace dolly here. Um that I just glued, you know, glued on and then glued this flower on top of it. And then I made this big rosette. It was too big and gaudy, and I was looking for, like, maybe a cream-colored cameo, but I didn't have one of that color, so I just put a rosette on it. Turned out still beautiful. And there's, like, a crochet dolly here, and then there's, like, as you can see, there's some of this um, lace like this that's glued down on, on one page, and then there's satin ribbon. And it just, there's several layers on each page of ribbon. And then the binding, um, on the binding on the side, I used um, 
lace on there. And it has a very good, you know, sturdy binding. But anyway, this is how my um, lace, beautiful lace album turned out. I'm really proud of it. Now I can go and display it after I put the white wash on and the uh, beads. But this is how she turned out. And um, I was very tickled. My very first album. I don't think I did bad for my first album. And uh, like I said, it's... This kind of work is very tedious work. I mean, you have to sit there and you have to glue. And, you know, it's just like putting a puzzle together. But you just can't just throw, slap everything down because it will look tacky. You have to, it's almost like uh, starting a canvas, uh, an art canvas or, of something. Or, uh, you know, um, a mini, mini album page. You know, you have this idea in your head. And you've got to put the flowers in a certain spot, this in a certain spot, that in a certain spot. spot. So that's how these lace albums are just about the same way. You know, you start out with your satin fabric, and then you have the um, lace dolly, you know, pl table placemat type dolly to glue down on top of the satin. You glue it down real good, and then once you get that down, then you've got to figure out what you're going to put in the center and what you're going to put, in, you know, around the sides and how many flowers, and it just ends up, you know, like, like I said, each page turned out differently, and each page has a theme, like this page is completely themed with wedding applique, and this one has wedding applique with a double frame, you know, and the crocheted, uh, long crocheted uh, edgings that I found, and like I said, each each page has its own different um, style and, and uh, uniqueness but this is this was so much fun making um i really got in the inspiration thank you bonnie and thank you uh, annie from garden miss garden grove when i saw the your two albums and uh i kind of like i said i had had an idea of wanting to do something similar to that but i just didn't know i i, I had to get my mind set to it you know i'm, I'm like you know how am i going to fix this and really, you know, it, when you start fixing these, it is your own artwork. I mean, you have to decide what piece you're going to put where and what kind of lace. So none of these um, lace albums, not a single one of them, are made the same way. There's there's different lace on them, different uh, pictures on them, different types of flowers. Uh, Everybody has their own little creations, so this is what I turned out with, and I really had a ball making it. Um, it took me about two and a half weeks to make it, though, because in between of doing laundry, dishes, taking a shower, taking care of baby kitty cat, and stuff like that, and, um, you know, trying to heal up from my surgery and all that, uh, and my broken ankle, this, this is kind of like, you know, I get, got tired of it and put it away. And it was like, really, I wasn't enthused in making it just yet. I mean, I, I could, couldn't get into it. And then all of a sudden, uh, the past week, I started, well, like, I got to get into it. And I started getting into it, and then I then I could was able to work. Yesterday, I worked on it all day yesterday. I mean, I was really into it yesterday because I was down to the last two pages, and it and the ideas were just rolling. Yeah, once you get started, then the then you start to roll. And that's about what happened with me here. You know, once I got it started and started getting things down and glued and pieced here, pieced there, then the idea started coming in my head. And I and I, and it it made it came out easy to do. But um, it does take a couple of weeks to make these. You know, unless you're on it every day, uh, a couple hours a day, you might be able to. But if you got to hand sew all the flowers, which I had to do, every one of those flowers were hand sewn. Um, so that's time consuming. And then the lace, you know, having to cut out the laces and place everything. And this, see here, this, this is, I've got this lace pleated. See how it's pleated? I took this piece by piece and glued, like, you know, folded it over, glued it down, folded over, glued it down, folded over, glued it down. And that's how that whole piece got. So it goes all the way around to up there. And then, you know, some of it's covered up. But, you know, you'll see it like in this corner here, this here, and I'm right under there. But uh, I had a good time uh, making this. And, um... I look forward to maybe one day making another one, but uh, it was a lot of fun, and it's going to be sitting on top of my wedding dress in my um, pink bedroom that I have displayed. I, I decided to display my wedding dress. I figured, you know, that shabby chic, give it feel, so my dress is laid across that bed, and I'm just going to lay this on top of the dress. So, um, 
I have another little added piece for my pink room. Well, I hope everybody has a nice day. I just wanted to show my project, and um, thank you so much for watching. And I also want to thank every one of my subscribers that are on YouTube. Thank you so much for all the support you have given me the past three months. And um, thank you so much for being my subbies. And um, not only have many of you become my subbies, but there's been many of you that have become my friend as well. And I cherish that. And thank you so much for for all that you have done for me. Love you, my friends. Bye-bye.